Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome to iMine Blocks. In this video, I'll be giving you guys an update for my 13 GPU miner rig. So obviously I'm here in the garage and I just wanted to cover a um, really kind of a general sort of overview of the things that I've been doing, a couple of things that I've been up to, mostly regarding the miner, but also the uh, garage in general. I know it's not super interesting, but there's a few uh, things that I've uh, added. So I just wanted to share um, a couple of those things uh, for you guys. So uh, let's talk about the miner first. Here we have our 13 GPU miner. So it's the one that you would have seen in my previous videos. Obviously I've moved it downstairs now. Uh, the idea was for that it would be um, a little bit cooler, but reality is uh, it's very warm in here uh, with all the other machines running at the same time. So I'll come back onto those in just a minute. So the 13 GPU miner, overall it's been running uh, really well and I've been really pleased with the performance. Uh, but I'll talk about a couple of um, issues that I've had with it first. So you'll notice that on this left hand side here, I've got this uh, GPU unplugged. Reason being is that I had a lot of stability issues. Uh, at first I thought it was due to the mix of um, RX 560 cars and 570 and 470s. Um, so what I did was disconnect this whole uh, section here, all of these GPUs, the seven GPUs, and I run it with just the uh, six GPUs at the back there. Um, and that runs for six hours, no problems at all. Uh, yeah, so no bother uh, there. So not a um, conflict of the uh, driver, um, the different uh, models of GPUs. So then I was gonna add back in the RX 560s, kind of almost an extra two and then two, just to see what uh, results was getting. But in the end, I decided to have six and then the other six GPUs. And so far it's been a lot more stable. So I'm not too sure what the difference is or why um, 13 GPUs would make any difference over to the 12 GPUs. Uh, but the problem that I was getting was really just really bad uh, instabilities. But it seems to be vastly improved now. It's not quite perfect, but overall it's a lot better. Also, you might have noticed underneath as well, there's a 12cm uh, fan underneath there. And I've got that on there. It's connected to our Molex connector to the power supply directly. Reason being is because this RM850 underneath there, uh, when it's at low lows, so less than sort of 500 watts, the fan on it doesn't spin, but the power supply does get very hot. So I think it's a problem with the thermostat in that particular power supply. Um, I've had it for a long time, and um, I don't think it's ever really been quite right. I did actually uh, buy it as a used piece. So I've added that fan in there just to help keep that uh, power supply cooler. Going around, uh, one other chap in the comments, he asked about the power supply connectors. So it's probably not really a great view of it there, but to link the two power connectors, you have this kind of in-between cable. So your primary power supply goes into the, the cable. I'm not too sure if you can see it at all. I did do a little clip for you. You're not really going to see anything, I don't think. Um, I'll, do, I'll do a proper video for that uh, in another video for you guys. Uh, it's kind of um, a bit tucked away uh, there, not really going to benefit you. Moving up onto the uh, screen for this miner, you can see I'm currently using the Claymore's uh, dual Ethereum miner, but it's running on um, simplemining.net. So there's, uh, I think they call it SMOZ. Um, and that's been a really good um, operating system overall. I'm quite pleased with it. You can see we're getting roughly around about 180 mega hashes. Uh, the rig itself is using just over a thousand watts. So I'm really pleased with the performance. The RX 560s, um, I worked out the other day and they're roughly using about 70, 72 watts each uh, when they're mining Ethereum only. And they get roughly around um, 11 and a half mega hashes. So pretty good performance overall, but the rig at the moment is using just over a thousand watts and I'm getting 180 mega hashes. So I'm very pleased with the, the performance there. Like I said, I'm using simplemining.net. Uh, it's pretty good interface. It's kind of a spin-off of um, Ubuntu and it works uh, really well. You can see the total uh, combined wattage for all of the rigs. So like I said, the 13 GPU miner is using about a thousand. We've got work free here and all its drives, first coin mining. And they're using uh, roughly about 300 watts. And then we've got the El Cheapo rig at the bottom, that 4R7370 is also mining Ethereum. 
and that's using about 400 watts. So up to about 17, 1800 watts overall. Coming on to clock speeds now, because I know a few of you are going to ask, the RX 560s are using a core clock speed of 1200 and a memory clock speed of 1750. So that's not really very far off the uh, kind of the standard stock clocks. Uh, the 470s and 570, I'm using a core clock of 1100 and a memory clock of um, 2000. Um, all of the graphics cards are currently undervolted, uh, not very, very, very much. I'm using the simple minor OS to undervolt them, so I can't say specifically uh, as a percentage what they're undervolted. If I run them at standard voltage, it uses about 1300 watts, um, so it saves about 300 watts almost, or 250 at least. Uh, and just so you can see the clock speeds on each of the GPUs. So we've got GPU 0 and 1, they're the 470s. Uh, GPU 6, uh, where has it gone? Um, sorry, 5, it's changed now because I've only got 12 GPUs. Uh, 5 and 8, they're the other 470 and 570s. And you can see that across all of the others are the RX 560s. So that little section covers the uh, minor, a uh, couple of the details that you guys have been um, asking me about. Uh, a few other things that I wanted to uh, cover as well. A lot of people have been saying about the uh, wooden frames and how much of a fire risk and stuff they are and things like that. Uh, the, one of the things that I wanted to cover was uh, fire safety is really super important. It's something that I take uh, very seriously. Um, I know the frames are wood, but uh, I have put a lot of thought into it. and. Um, when it comes to uh, you know, the fire sort of assessment, I'm particularly careful about exactly what I do and you should take um, as many precautions as you can to reduce the risk of fire. So a couple of things I'm going to talk about uh, with regards to that uh, fire safety and it's not going to be a massive health and safety lesson, I'm just going to cover a couple of the things that I'm doing to help reduce the fire risk. So you'll notice up this end that this uh, miner is obviously on the floor. So there's quite a good gap down to the side of it. You could argue that this one is a little bit too close to it but there's a good gap pretty much all the way around it and up the sides. There's nothing flammable around that side. Here I've got this, uh, it's currently plastic shelving, but um, I'm going to swap it to, you can see this um, kind of shelf in there, that metal racking. I've got another shelf there. Um, so I'm going to be swapping the plastic shelf for some metal racking and securing it to the wall. Uh, you can notice I've got this kind of this back wall piece. I'm going to replace that there uh, as an extra kind of fire protection um, also. Then I've got this big hunk of metal, uh, sorry, wood uh, it is, but it's quite thick. So this again acts as a fire, you know, kind of a fire break. So if anything was to sort of catch fire on this side, um, I'm pretty sure that nothing would take a hold um, and wouldn't kind of get too far out of control before I, um, I got to deal with it. Uh, also inside, I've seen, you can see I've added a smoke alarm, extra protection. I've got one at the other end. Um, there is also a, um, mini fire extinguisher as well and I'm trying to keep the majority of flammables and stuff I'm kind of away from um, all of the miners so just to sort of share that with you guys also. Regarding the performance of the RX 560s I know that there is improvements to be made of roughly getting about um, 11 and a half mega hashes um, but I will be uh, BIOS modding those soon that one that I've unplugged um, I'll be taking upstairs soon to uh, carry out the BIOS mods and see what extra performance we can get uh, from that. So I'll be sharing that uh, in an upcoming video uh, with you soon. Extra uh, item on the agenda is the uh, lighting in here. I've added a tube light. You can see that. So it's quite long. I think it's, a, I think it's like a six foot double tube light. So when I'm redoing my videos from here from time to time, hopefully you can see um, a lot better than that piddly little light that was in here earlier. Uh, and that's just uh, an added extra. Oh, one other thing actually, actually uh, quite important is I replaced the cable on the wall. So you can see this gray cable here, and it runs all the way along and back, all the way to that back socket there. So previously I had a, there was a cable there and it was already connected to that socket, but it was a 1.5 millimeter cable and it was just too thin for the, the wattage that I was using. So I replaced it with a 2.5 millimeter twin and earth. And that should be good for, uh, I think a maximum rated is about 20 amps, something like that. In reality, uh, I won't be getting anywhere near that. Uh, this current rig is currently using around about um, 11 amp something. Uh, at 2000 watts, you'd be using under 13. So that's probably about the most as I will use uh, in here. 
really because of the heat that it generates. So like I said, we're currently using 1700 watts now and it's uh, 35 degrees. Obviously it is the summer uh, and that has an effect on things, but I'm quite happy with the setup. Um, so that's just one other thing that I was gonna share with you guys really. So that's it for this a little video. If you have any questions or comments uh, regarding the rigs, uh, either the, the first in GPU miner, uh, El Cheapo or the Worker 3, which is the first coin rig, um, the mining software, anything like that at all, uh, be sure to you know leave a comment, let me know uh, what you guys' uh, thoughts are, and uh, I'll, I'll get back to you as and when I can. So thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you give it a little like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I'll see you guys in the next video soon.